All right, guys, so I want to lay something to rest here before it becomes misinformation. Because our community, although they mean well, does have a tendency to jump to a lot of conclusions. And some people actually take that a bit further and start sharing some of those assumptions as fact. So what we're looking at here is GT rails and XR Classic rails right next to each other. We can already see that the space, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this left side is the battery side. The space from the inside of the rail here to the inside of the rail here is larger than the space inside of the rails on the XR Classic. And that's just easy to see. We already know that the GT battery module fills this entire space. We do know that the controller does not fill the entire space here because when we loosen these screws, usually it sags a little bit. However, that does not happen with the XR Classic. So that could be something that we could speculate and say Future Motion had been planning this for quite some time. Or who knows, maybe their original idea was to make it like the XR, but then they changed their mind. Either way, we know that the controllers are fine. The controllers are the same exact enclosures and they fit in each of these. So it doesn't matter that this is wider or deeper than the XR Classic rails. However, on the other side, just to make sure that we are discounting any assumptions here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do first actually is I'm gonna show you something that's obvious, but I just wanna do it for the camera we should be able to take the XR Classic internals and we should be able to line those up directly with the GT rails. Now things are not, they're not perfect here. I'm, I'm gonna get this other rail out of the way so I don't have to fumble around too much. We can get a top down view, but we can see that the holes line up there and there's also a little bit of wiggle room because these are definitely not meant for this. And then obviously the front, the front is fine. So the holes on the front, the holes on the back work. So if you ever wanted to put your XR Classic internals in GT rails for whatever reason, you could. And maybe you do want to do that. Maybe you want to take advantage of the fact that the Float Life has W rails for the GT that would work out with your XR Classic stuff. I don't know why you'd want to do that, because obviously at that point, why not just have a GT? But that's just confirmation there, just a, an FYI. But this is the XR Classic battery enclosure and the controller. And this is thinner as well what i did is i took some calipers and i went from the screw hole here on the lid by the way the lid for this enclosure is the same exact as the gt and i would also assume potentially the gts i, I don't have a gts disassemble but i do know that the gts has the same outer profile because i can use the tfl gaskets on it but these are the exact same lids for the battery box. That's just a quick side note. The other thing I was going to say though, is I did measure from here down to here. It's kind of diagonal, so it's not exact. I didn't have anything that could clamp just on the side here and then reach far enough under here. But at the same time, the rail just goes up to this little lip, I believe. So technically it's like from there to there and it is thinner than the GT battery enclosure. So for anybody who was wondering if these would fit, if the GT would fit in the XR Classic rails, the answer is no. And that's what I'm gonna show you next. So instead of relying on the inaccuracy of the caliper, because it's kind of a funny spot to measure, I'm just gonna go ahead and let the real world test speak for itself. So let's get these guys out of here.
Here I have my GT internals. And what I'm gonna show you is that this beefy battery box will not, I repeat, will not accommodate the rails for the XR Classic. So let's, let me make sure this is fully seated. It's not screwed in right now, but I should still be able to put this on if it was to fit. And we are seeing here, it does not even want to go down. Like what other confirmation do you need right there? You can see that this is lined up with the top and there is not enough space in there. There's at least, probably slightly over, or, or roughly at least a quarter inch, maybe more, that would need to be accommodated for. So that's what I wanted to do with that, is just eliminate any questions, any assumptions, any confusion or anything like that. Your XR Classic rails will not fit your GT battery module. And that also means obviously it will not fit the GTS battery module. So just wanted to dispel that.